Welcome. I promised a Hogwarts Legacy podcast. I I delivered. To be honest, didn't think it happened. Uh, no one <laughs> played this game, um, or at least the people in, in my friend group didn't play the game. Uh, Are you surprised? I can't, I can't. I can't imagine why. Uh, no, my, a lot of people were bullied over this game. Uh, I, mm-hmm. I'm not surprised at all. Um, yeah. I also I had personal I, quote unquote <laughs> drama in my own life uh, mm-hmm. just by playing the game. So I imagine a lot of people uh, wanted to avoid that. Yeah. Um, of course, you've already listened to him, but I have Alex with me again, returning. Hello, like he does in the spoiler cast that he visits every now and then. How are you? I'm good. I am. Fe- I'm feeling surprisingly awake for being so late right now. Yes, it is very late. We we of course work around. Alex's schedule whenever he can join us. So, um, yeah, kids, but man. Of course, it is Hogwarts Legacy spoiler cast. Remember, we're spoiling everything. There is no review or anything like that. I kind of already did that in a previous video. You can go check out. Um, I don't think it really needs to be. We'll we'll review it as we're discussing the game. But we're gonna go full spoilers from this point on. I don't want to tiptoe or anything because I I really do want to talk about this game because it was very good. Um, yes. So let's just jump into it. Uh, you know how I like to do spoiler cast. I like to introduce us just in case this is your first time watching us. Um, I, I'll give you my uh, gaming accolades, of course. Um, my normal schedule is every Friday. I give you the Easy Cheapers Game Podcast. That's not important. We'll go over that at the end of the show. Right now, I want to discuss Hogwarts. How much of a Harry, pa- uh, Harry Potter fan are we? What's our history? I'll start us off with... Um, I. I watched these, I, th- I want to say when I was like 11-ish. I yeah. want to say I saw the first one in theaters. I don't think I did. I think I saw the second one in theaters. So, of course, I I, I want to say I was introduced to the movie, then the books. Because I yeah. read the books as a kid, but not a lot. I think I read the first three and then stopped. That sounds right. Because I definitely remember Prisoner of Azkaban. That like very iconic book cover. So I definitely remember reading that one. I'm pretty sure I read the other two. And then I watched all the movies like as they came out in theaters. Um, yeah, I, I would say I'm a pretty big Harry Potter fan. I'm not the biggest by no means. I actually, I'm actually I'm actually married to uh, someone that is one of the biggest Harry Potter fans I've ever seen. Um, so. Yeah. But aside from that, uh, uh, Alex, let's jump to you. What What is your Harry Potter background? Um, yeah, I watched the movies um, as I grew up. I didn't. I, from what I remember, I don't think I ever watched the first couple in theaters. I th- I think my first theatrical one that I watched was either Half Blood Prince or Deathly Hallows Part One. Mm. Um, mm. just because I think from uh at the time I lived with my grandma and she, she that wasn't their thing, you know, ha- having a sixty year old Cuban woman in theaters. <laughs> she yeah. I don't she she's like I'm not staying for a two three hour movie, bro. Yeah. Yeah, so I think she just whenever the movie was released, she would just immediately buy. Uh, she yeah. she wouldn't even wait. She'd be like, it'd be like, hey, was that the movie? Yep. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I I loved them. I didn't read the books at the. I actually started reading them in the last year or two. I I stopped on four. Uh, I just got busy, but yeah, um, they're not. I mean, they're 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 good. I think what book one and two are probably the most accurate for, uh, compared to the movies, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, All the other ones kind of veer away at some um, some portions of the movies and stuff. Not even necessarily veer away; just don't feature most of it. Because feature some stuff, so, yeah. So long, um, yeah. And I don't think they wanted it over Lord of the Rings type of thing, where it's three hours. <laughs> the, ex- so. the extended versions. Yeah, yeah, and they also have extended yeah. where stuff. So yeah. Anyways, that's that's our kind of background. We we are pretty yeah. knowledgeable people about Harry Potter. Yeah. Not necessarily. Um, uh, photographic on the text of the book. I have yeah. read them all. I didn't. I actually didn't say that. I I read them all at one point, and I've also li- last time I uh, did this, I listened to them all. So the last time I actually experienced Harry Potter was through an audiobook. I listened to all um all of the books, which was very nice because it's just like a podcast. You can just throw it on and like play a video game or something. Alex, Hogwarts Legacy yes. opens. Um. We, of course, start as a fifth year student. Not, not very common, of course, in the Harry Potter universe. At first, Alex, when this game was lo- uh, announced and they said you'd be a fifth year, I was a bit shocked. I was like, oh, OK, that makes sense, though, because they want us to have a bunch of spells. They probably don't want us to like walk in as a first year yeah. and not know stuff. So that makes sense. I thought we were a transfer student. We are hmm, straight up okay. a fifth year who just got magic. 
and and, I, I, and wasn't discovered. So we're not transferring from another school. We are straight up a fifth year that gets plucked from uh, the human world. I guess so. We had latent magic and wasn't discovered until um, around the fifth year age. And uh, okay, is that what it said? Because I was trying to yes. figure out. I was like, how did we get involved into Hogwarts? Like, yeah, they don't like, really. They don't really say, go. Yeah, like, it, it's, it's it's passing. And a lot of people are like, oh, you've entered in as a fifth year. It's very rare. But, but you're no, like, you, how you had no, did you get like, yeah, you had no pass uh, education. So and yeah. you'll see that throughout the game where you, you keep getting assignments, you're getting like extra credits so you can catch up as a fifth year. Because um, if I remember right, you I believe you only have a year left of Hogwarts and then you graduate. And then I think the seventh year you is optional or something is something like that. I should. Mm. My wife would definitely know that. But. Anyways, going into, yeah, the fifth year, I, that was actually kind of, I started off the game very surprised. I was like, oh, so I'm going in um, as a fifth year. That's very interesting. And I, I thought it was very cool. And they actually played that into the story, which I liked very much. They At least yeah. they got that little creativity, um, a creative excuse, let's say, to get you in as many spells as possible. Oh, we're right in the story. Hey, you're this yeah. fifth year magic user. Then you find, of course, later on that you you're like... <laughs> You're advanced because you can see ancient magic and you're attuned yeah. to magic in some mysterious way, uh, which was which was good. What do you think about the uh, beginning uh, intro part laying the groundwork for the story? Um, I I enjoyed it. I was uh, I was in it was um, the the beginning part, like where the whole scene is like you're in. I'm assuming it's is it England or like you're it's a good question. I think it is. OK, I'm assuming it's like Kings uh, or it's like it's. You know, you're in London, I'm assuming. And then that's when you get picked up. And, um, like, just... I'm just curious. Uh, I wish you got... Yes, you are. You leave from London to Hogwarts. Okay, yeah. So, I, I do wish there was more of the... Um, I don't know. I, I We see the train once, but I was kind of hoping. It was like, oh, we get to go in the train. But we didn't get that. No, but you, no. Instead, but... you got a carriage. Uh, uh, but, yes, that... I so I I could be the right there with you, but instead what we got was an insane scene. No, with, for sure. Uh, in a carriage with the man. That's why I was alive. like, no, for sure. That's why it kind of was like, oh, I was like when it started, I was like, I was like, this is cool. It's starting out, you know, you're going in a carriage. Yeah, you're with this guy as uh, a professor, and you leave, and uh, I, I'm assuming you're going to Hogwarts. I don't know why it's like this, and then that happens. So I'm like, oh, all right. Very Fucking cool. dragon. I, I liked it. You, they show you the key. It's like, yeah, we don't know what this thing is. It's like, oh, maybe yeah. it's a port key. Who knows? Yeah. And then, and, and very violent start to this game. Um, I don't think anyone yep. really saw that coming. I didn't think oh, we no. would just immediately get violent and crunch down on the carrot. I was like, whoa, yep. okay. Um, especially with the little uh, portion of like, as soon as they, he gets killed, thresholds appear. I'm like, oh, yeah. which was again <laughs> another good touch. Another, another yeah. touch, another creative touch. It's like, hey, no, he's dead. He, he, yeah, he, and he did. Like, you just watch that. Yeah, you just watch that, and also no trickery. I was very worried later on. Yeah, we would, he would get come some back. trickery, and it's like, no, we saw that. Th I'm, I'm glad they were like, no, you see the Thestrals. He's yep. dead. Let's give gravity to this scene because you did just watch a man die, um, seemingly innocent, uh, yeah. right before your eyes. And and as a fifth year, you're freaking out. I did skip an important part, Alex. Of course, when we started mm. this game, I want to kind of backtrack a little bit. Okay. Um, your creative character. I want yeah. to ask, how long did you uh, take on the creative character? <laughs> That's um, all. So I didn't take as long as I thought I would. Oh, okay. Um, I took maybe 20, 30 minutes. Okay. I didn't take long just because um, all the faces for males, it was just like... it. I was looking for, I guess, a specific thing. Like, you know, mm. I'm not a, I'm not a skinny boy, but I'm not big either. Yeah. So I just needed something a little bit more round. And um, I kind of was upset that I couldn't change my height. And I mean, mm. saying that is, I'm, I'm, I, I, I am saying that as I'm a short guy, you would, people yeah. would think, be like, why wouldn't you want to be taller? Mm. I do, but there's Which, other characters that are shorter than me yeah. in the game. Why can't I change my height? I'm a cu yeah. I'm curious if they did that because um the motto needs to be a certain way. I'm, so, that's what I'm wondering. So it doesn't maybe clip in when you're riding a mount or something. M maybe you had to be a certain uh, like if you're shorter with the roads, maybe it didn't look well. I that's don't know. true. Yeah, that that means they would have to size um, uh, all the make robes. Sure all and... the robes uh, clip yeah. in every height that's given. So 
Yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't even yeah. notice that, but that's a good point. Yeah, I'm sure a couple people were probably frustrated that eh, okay, yeah. well, I couldn't change it, my hype, but at least it's not too distracting. Yeah, so you I find just change everything else. Oh yeah, I mean, I found everything else just as simple. I mean, I got glasses. Couldn't do a beard because you're a fifth year for of course. Some reason you're child. fifteen. I look, I have fourteen. I had a full grown mustache. All right, I don't want to hear it. No, no, no. Um. What's it called? Um, but I did. I put my hair purple, so it was just like I was like, okay, I I, I got to my skin tone similar to what I was. Uh, my wife was trying to make her character. She was like, "Can I go paler?" And I was like, "No." You definitely could. Uh, you and, guys I told me know, that. I was I like, I, well, "You definitely." I can. didn't know that either. So I didn't know either. She she was she hit the she didn't know that you pick one and then you can change it from there. Yeah. She didn't realize that, and I didn't either, to be honest. Yeah. So I just I just found one that fit mine, but she didn't do it to her. So she looked more um, Hispanic, and she's more you know she's more white. Yeah, of course. Yeah, um, I, I went kind of the same route. I basically made an Elseworlds Harry Potter version of myself. So so correct. so did my wife. So we had a good yeah. bit of fun. I, I had fun like making everything exactly how I wanted the hair, you know, and these things. The hair yeah. very nice. I, I wish I could have added like some texture to the things because like there's yeah, things, but. It was really uh, nitpicky on the character. It was great. It, it was. It really was great. You could get very creative if you like. You can make them transgender if you like. You can really yeah. just do anything. It's probably one of the most customizable um, in terms of yeah. character creators. And especially one thing that's not uh, never nailed, black hair. A lot of games, you, you have like yeah. three black hairstyles. An afro, cornrows, and like some sort of dread. And, that, yeah. and this one had like a, a wide variation. Shout out to whoever did that that's very that was very cool yep yeah they did have a lot of selections um uh -huh. but i did pick oh hmm? go ahead go ahead no no no. i would say i know i like i picked mine i do uh like i liked that there were so many varieties but maybe i'm picky i only found like maybe like three or four that i liked i was kind of hoping like uh because i got the hair that i have yeah. i was kind of hoping more of the the undercut style because i always enjoy that mm. style look but they didn't have that i'm assuming i mean of course it's the 1800s so i'm assuming they need something kind of like in that style right right but i don't know i will say uh this since we're on character creators i do want to kind of stick although we're kind of skipping around in the story i do want to skip ahead um how did you do handle your char character creation uh in the broader sense um with your wand and your class now uh i think you did what i did um, and I'm curious how many people did this at home or even knew they could. I'm pretty sure everyone knew at least you could. You could link your uh, Pottermore account. Mm -hmm. I think it's called something else now. But Not you Pottermore. can link. It's still Pottermore? Okay. I believe you can so. link your like Pottermore to like your Warner Brothers account and then your Warner Brothers account to the game, to your Xbox or PlayStation or PC, <laughs> whatever you played this on. And then they'll sync all that together and automate you to that selection when you get to it which was very very cool that shows you that they took an account the community that they were making the game for because everyone knows the Pottermore site is where you go to what you know what class would i be put in if i really like lived in that world yeah. what's what would be my wand what would be my patronus yeah. we'll get to that patronus a little later Okay, um, they did rename it wizarding world but wizarding it's like world. it That's says like welcome to the new Pottermore it's still uh, Pottermore it's still yeah but it says originally published on Pottermore. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, Alex, mm. I want to know, did you do the same thing? Yes, I did link my Pottermore because I yeah. already uh, before before the game came out about a month or two before I linked mine. I, yep. I had it's my it. Patronus and I did my wand. I did, too. So it automated yes. all that, but you can still change the things. Of course, I Correct. stayed Gryffindor. Uh, yes. Through and through. That's why yeah. I got placed in. I was helpful. I feel yeah, I feel like I, I don't I shouldn't change things. I, I took the quiz. That's where I was putting. Mm -hmm. So I left yeah. it there. Honestly, I think the only thing I changed, I'm curious also, like I know you get your Patronus in the in the in the app thing, but you didn't no. do it at all in Hogwarts Legacy. Like you didn't even do the Patronus charm, like like the whole spell. Like I, no. I mean, I, we didn't see the mentor, so I guess it wasn't needed. Yeah, I mean, I again, these are things that I think were made early on where like, what are we not doing? Because it seems like they yeah. wanted to do as much as possible. I really do think. And you know what? Let's just broach the subject here because we're already kind of touching on like what they didn't do Yeah, and what they didn't do. We didn't do Patronuses. And I think the biggest thing, there was no no, um, cool, no Quidditch, no Quidditch. No Quidditch. Yeah. That's a big disappointment to a lot of people. I'm shocked that they didn't do it. There's two scenarios in my mind, I think. 
um, could have happened in this situation. One, they decided early on to not devote resources because that's almost making another game. Yeah. And they were like, we can't do it. We'd rather spend that elsewhere. Or they hit some sort of technical challenge and they had to dump it. Either one of those situations could have happened anytime. Maybe it's even more complicated than that, but I did find it very interesting. They cop out immediately. Once you get to once you get to the school, immediately the uh hit um headmaster. Uh, the headmaster yeah, goes, he's Oh, like, uh no, quit is cancelled. <laughs> like just immediate just immediate. That's like the first thing that's said as soon as you enter the castle. They want to make sure yep. you understand that. Quidditch is not happening. Don't get excited for it. It's not happening. Uh, yeah. There is nothing going on here. We'll do time trials later. That's as much as you get, uh, which I did find very, very disappointing. Um, I think that was something that you should have probably had in the game, but as we'll talk about later in the show. Perfect for mm -hmm. a sequel, I think. But um, anything you want to pick at that I brought up? The wands, the... Google, um, anything. Quidditch. I mean... Yeah, the Quidditch thing was just I, because of the I mean, you got your broom, and you you have those time trial things, and you hit I mean, like how many fucking balloons are there in this world? Jesus. Too many like, balloons. Who put these balloons there? Like I I rather have like like you have a mini game of what was the one with the, like it's it's in the field and you have to like pull the ball to a certain score. Yes, a uh, summoner's court. Summoner's court. We have that. Why couldn't I have like a small thing of Quidditch? Like, yeah, yeah. I, don't I, I don't. I I I'm, I'm kind of gravitating towards what you're saying there. Like, maybe not all of Quidditch, but maybe we had. Oh, you're the um, or like a practicing or something. Like it was like, um, oh, hey, you just try to see if you can get it into the goal. Like you know, somebody's in front of you and you just have to shoot it, and instead of a whole match, you know. Yeah. So I thought it was gonna. I thought they were gonna be like, oh, you can train as the. Is it the keeper that go? Is the goalie? Is that the name of him? Who's the goalie? The goalie, I think, is the keeper. Let me check. Yeah, I'm pretty uh, sure it's the keeper. Of course, Harry Potter fans are screaming at their screens right now. So oh, I'm, yeah, very I'm wrong. Sure. We're very right. Who knows? But I, uh, whoever the goalie is, I thought yeah, we keeper. were keeper. I thought so. Great. I thought the I thought the keeper would uh, if there was some sort of mini game, maybe like you know, you hit these buttons to quickly like shoot to where the ball is going to be. I don't know, but yeah. cl they clearly did not want to put it in the game, or could not at least. Um, uh, now I will say. It's hard to say that the money wasn't well spent because that means that money was put elsewhere. And at the very yeah. least, it was put towards Hogwarts. I want to talk about Hogwarts and the character of Hogwarts. Um, I know we're kind of being fast and loose with with the thing, but that's how, you know, we're really excited to talk about the game. So yeah. the character of Hogwarts, the school, this is something that I think kind of makes the game, if I'd be frankly uh, outside of Hogwarts. If, if like Hogwarts wasn't nearly as interesting, this game wouldn't have been half as good, probably. Uh, so I think Hogwarts honestly saves the game and I think uh, yeah. a couple other factors save the game that we'll talk about later but let's talk yeah. about Hogwarts let's speak about what, what we liked most about it I'll start us off you pick up out whatever you'd like and pick out any situation but I do one of my favorite things about this game and specifically about uh, the school is I love how alive it feels it feels yes. like every time I turn every time I'm going down a hall Every time I'm every time I go into a classroom, something is happening. Either a student is talking, someone's yep. talking about owls, someone's being yelled at by a um growler. howler. Someone a howler is howler. Yes, howler. Yeah, I actually Sorry, got I one the other day. Yeah. I've gotten like three or four of them. They're always hilarious. Yep. Their mom's yep. so mad at them for yep. like messing something up. Um, if you go to Hogsmeade, there's always something hacking at Hogsmeade. You walk around, some some students got caught stealing. So. Uh, yep. They got pushed out and like they're like, we didn't I was do anything able to and fire away the musician. Out. Yes, the musician, you tip him. Every time you tip him, he gets a new instrument. Like, yep. there's so many different little things. It's always, there's always something happening. There's always something alive. There's always a portrait talking. There's yes. the um, smelly hallway that all that has reached oh, for yeah. 100 years or something because, uh, you know, so uh, it was cursed. Uh, I mean, Peeves running around. Peeves is always doing something. You hear him saying, we, you have your common room where there's always something. I mean, the, I mean, I could endlessly go on. What? What is I've yet to things? find everything in the castle. Like I, I got all the like the flu powder points, but like I haven't visited every corridor and stuff. Like I'm still no, no, finding no. things. I was 20 hours in and I still found parts of the castle I had not been in. Yeah. Um, and I would say even as far as 30 hours in, I was still finding pieces of things because you you keep getting little um yeah. uh spells that further you along the story, or you go down a hallway that you keep you may have missed earlier, or you find a secret and you go inside the yeah. secret and, and it's 
find some other things. But talk to me about some of the things that you liked about Hogwarts, the character school, and no, take I'd, that any way you will. I think my favorite part, as like you said, was the was the school. Um, yeah. because like anytime you're running around, because I am in my head, I'm always like, oh, can I get to this place? Can I get to this place? But like, I like that the cast, because my mind wanted to reference the castle to the movies. Like, you know, yeah, it's like, oh, the grand staircase is going to look the same, but it didn't. And I like that because they, it, they, it changed, you know, it's been a hundred years, uh, things modernize and stuff like that. So I do, I did enjoy that. I mean, the little puzzles with the um, with with the, the with the adding puzzle thing with the thing with all the pictures yeah, of the it had a key. Uh, and, yeah, yeah, it yeah, a, yeah I like I mean, I, just running around and you finding little things for the field guides, yep. seeing like the ghosts. Um, the, just the other day, I actually went all the way, I think, to the bottom as I could. And I found the where all the ghosts are. They're all like dancing and they all have yes, their own area. Ghost party. Yeah, I found that area and I was like, oh, this is cool. Yep, they're having a little ghost party. I think you can keep going there, and you, you, there's like an event yeah. there usually. But like, I like that. But then I also enjoy just fl- I enjoyed flying around. Like yes. once you get your once you get your once broom, you get the broom. Yeah. I literally Very early just, too. They they make yeah. sure you get it kind of early. Yep, I literally just like flew, and I started like looking around. Like I I found a uh, Hogsmeade station, so and uh, like I was just trying to find the train. Like, yeah, I, and I will say, since you brought up the broom, that really does open the game up in a, in a completely yeah, different sure. way. Um, you can and you get to really um, utilize that broom very uniquely. And, and it's such a unique mechanic in this game. It sounds like uh, not unique. It, it's uniquely implemented as you get it so early and it is so easy to use. Most games, you either get the flying thing at the end, a la yep. slight spoilers, like something like horizon you you know you get a big deal thing happening yeah. near the end of the game that completely changes how you travel but that's at the yeah. end of the game this gives you near the beginning you're, you're sub 10 hours in this game you're getting a mountain already you're getting you're getting the broom you can fly out however you want and yep. you get to a point where you can easily traverse mountains like oh uh you know my i, I see a merlin trial up this mountain most yep. games you're like oh, well i'll go to it later because then i'd have to find a path in this game yep. some some in your broom up, yeah it makes it so over, easy to get down. off of it and get back on too Mm-hmm. And that is, again, that's another thing that they nail. I think Hogwarts Legacy does a really good thing at nailing little things about their game. Yeah. There's a bunch of little things they do, right? That kind of uh, enhances the uh, uh, overall blander parts of the game. Yeah. Uh, th- uh, you brought up the brooms. Um, anything else um, with Hogwarts? Hogwarts, is, I think, is going to be um, something that we can keep coming back to. But um, anything else? I want to quickly, uh, before I throw it to you, I want to bring up the lore. The lore is okay. what really pulled me in at the start of the game because at the yeah. start of the game as soon as you Revelio is the first thing you get in this game yeah and i'm That's constantly constantly the, popping the Revelio, constantly oh, i'm over yeah. here Revelio, Revelio. i'm turning corners Revelio. i see a painting Revelio. i i see a a strange wall Revelio. i i see an armor Revelio. I, i'm everywhere with this Revelio thing yeah right so i'm constantly popping this thing walking around oh i wonder what that is Revelio. <laughs> like I'm, i mean i'm really just I'm going ham on this. I want to know everything about the game. I'm constantly getting lore pieces. The lore pieces, incredibly well, well written. Incredibly. Mm-hmm. All of it is. I never saw one where I was like, that was kind of stupid. All of them were funny or, yep. or witty or they were interesting or they gave a little bit of lore about the greater Harry Potter universe. There was all these things about the game that I very, very, very much enjoyed about uh, Hogwarts. So what, is, what is a couple things you want to bring up? Um, I really enjoyed the combat. I didn't oh. think I was going to like the combat. Yes, let's um, jump into that combat. Yeah, I, yeah, it was I, very I fluid. Was for, for, I easily thought that was going to be the worst part of the game. I, that same. I thought it was going to be like, oh, this is not going to be good. Like, uh, just like, like it's going to be very slow. It's going to be very meticulous. But like they nailed it. Like you, being able to have four different uh s- slot sections to have up to sixteen sk- uh uh spells, spells it was great i thought yep. i got i got worried i thought we were gonna have four at a time i'm like this is gonna be terrible yep yep i i thought the same thing and once i figure out oh no you, you're able to like swap mid battle and you're able to kind of have this loadout feature that you can hot swap to and and, ha- and like quickly use all these things mm-hmm. it became almost second nature when i was fighting yeah and some of my favorite parts of the game was when i was able to get in big fights and i could really flex how good i was at spells and how good i was mm. at countering and dodging yep. especially when you got uh, the dodge that goes 
and yep. you like so yeah. you missed and you can yeah you missed through it. yep um that was also very cool um i there were so many things that i liked i liked about the combat and again i really did think this was gonna be the worst part it never demoed well all the demos they showed all the sneak peeks yep. that they showed about every time i went to combat i was like that looks terrible <laughs> like i really thought yeah. It was going to be the worst. I'm surprised what I actually think is the worst part of the game because I actually thought it might have been the strongest. But yeah, uh, the combat was surprisingly great. It always feels great to to get into a big fight with a bunch of other wizards. And you're like, I, I see someone I, I cast expe- uh, Expeller on this, and then I turn around and I, uh, I block and stupefy someone. And then I can um, Accio and then Incendio. And then I can go into a, um, a Bombarda to someone else. Like, fluidly moving towards all of those spells in a way that felt kind of natural got mm. close to something akin to like feeling as cool as like when you do a really cool thing in Elden Ring or something like that. Obviously not that good, but it's, it got to akin to it. It's like, yeah, I do feel yeah. really, really cool right now. Now, do you have a favorite spell that you used constantly? I think I have to give it to Bombarda. Now, it a was, late game spell. For mine is between that and Confringo. Confringo was Confringo, my Confringo, another good one. So if I can cheat a bit here, mm. I actually had a go-to combo. Yeah. I had Glacio yeah. into Confringo. That's, mm. That was kind of my go-to. So I would, like, if I needed something dead, yeah, Glacio, Confringo. That almost kills anything in the game. Yeah. Uh, mine was Confringo and then Bombardo. Thing. Yeah, that's a good one too, probably. But that did in a massive amount of damage. Like I, that would almost one kill anything, or it would be like easily killable after that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that that was kind of my favorite kind of spell combo. Um, the creatures. Mm. Mm. I I um. So I was speaking to somebody about it, and I was like, um. I like that they're adding, you know, the uh, acromantulas and all the spiders yes. and stuff like that. Because I was like, oh, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. I actually was talking to, and somebody was like upset about it because they were like, oh, there wasn't any spiders in the Forbidden Forest until mm. Hagrid brought Aragog, so that doesn't make sense. I was like, that's not the point. Mm. It's a hundred years before. It's their own take on it. Like. I enjoyed it. I, I was like, the first time you fight the Acromantula, I was like, <laughs> I was like, it was awesome. Like, anytime I went into a cave, I started like, Revelio, Revelio. And I'm like, all right, where's the spider is at? Yeah, I can't speak on the lore accur- accuracy with why spiders are here, but it did seem like it was like native or something, maybe. I, I didn't mm-hmm. honestly, I didn't look into why a bunch of creatures. All I know is the poachers were there and they were poaching and they were trying to kill everything. Yeah. And, and, I, I remember that plot line. I, I couldn't tell you if it if it makes lore sense why there's spiders, honestly. I, I, I imagine it get, it just they needed something you could fight. I, I assume yeah. that's as deep as it got for them. And they kind of were probably like, well, let's just write in a reason why they're here. Yeah, I'm sure. There's something there. I don't know. it though. I mean, it made it. I mean, it works. <laughs> it does. Because um, anytime you see a giant spider, you're like, yeah, I think of sp- Either Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings. So, um, speaking of which, uh, you brought up uh, the creatures. Um, you did. You could do finishers in this game. Um, you you don't mm-hmm. like perform them. It just happens. Um, mm-hmm. Or uh, sorry, you you do perform them, but like you you can't like pick a finisher. Like you, it's part of your ancient magic meter is what it's called, and you yeah. can like use that to do a bunch of damage. And sometimes yes. you'll do a special like takedown. One of my yeah. favorite ones since you brought up the spiders is um. One of the I was fighting one of the giant spiders and I did my ancient magic to finish it off. And yep. I grabbed it, pulled it forward, did a spell that I guess made it small. And yeah, and you just stomped go, it. Mm, yeah, I you stomped like, it. Yeah, yep. that was really cool. Like they yeah. did get really inventive with a lot of these things. Yep. Now since and they change. Yes, yes, and they change. Yeah, like since I, we're like I love the that, fucking lightning one. And I'm like, oh, so it's helping. So since you brought up lightning and all these things, and since you bring up combat and and uh, creatures. Yeah. What did you think about you clearly killing people? Because, <laughs> like, you are clearly killing people. Like, yeah. at first I was thinking, oh, you're not actually killing these people. It's just kind of, like, implied that they're knocked out. But then mm. you get um, finisher moves that you make them evaporate. Like, yeah, I know. Like the, yeah, you, yeah, you completely kill them. vaporize them. So I went from thinking, like, oh, it's like a... It, it's like suspend disbelief like you're knocking them out when you hit them with defend 
<laughs> no, no. You, you're killing these people. Your character even says your blood is on Ranrock's hand. Literally stating, like, hey. I know I just killed you, but it's not my fault. Like, I, I was shocked that they have a six. I mean, yeah, it's 16 year old, I think, is a fifth year. Um, I'm pretty sure it's 16. Um, so they have pretty much a 16, let's say 15, 17, any any of those two. Uh, and you're straight up uncharted mass murdering people. Like you are <laughs> uncharted levels of mass murder. You are just murdering hundreds of people. <laughs> it's fucking. Yeah, you're a uh, 15, 15 year old. 15. So yeah, it's pretty hilarious. Again, yeah. you have to kind of suspend your disbelief on this, just like Uncharted, mm-hmm. where like if you really think about it, if you think about it, it's horrible. But that's why you try not to think. About it. <laughs> but uh, I thought that was just funny when my first time I um did a finisher and I, I think it was a goblin. Um, I do them. I you do the move where like it, it, I don't know what you do, but like you shoot like a blue ray inside of them, and it makes them like blow up. Into, oh like, yeah, ribbons. and I was mm-hmm. like, Whew. "Yeah, he's dead. I killed that person." Yeah, <laughs> like I killed. That was like the first time I went. Okay, I gotta like not think about this because this is like pretty dark. If I do, I I did enjoy the parts like. I th- you don't get really get to do it till the end, but towards the end, you'll do the the famous like the the dueling thing where it's like the two strands are going back yeah, and forth, yes. and you gotta hit the button. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah, I love that, and I like how they added the touch. So if you defeated the thing, uh, the person, it like they, they went. Yeah, I'm like, damn, yeah, they just straight up Voldemort that. Guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are, and and what's funny is they make a big deal when you learn, um, of, or if you um, choose to if learn you Avada choose Kedavra, to learn- or mm-hmm. any of the unforgivable curses, they make it a big deal when you choose to learn them. They obviously yeah. don't make it a big deal when you use them in combat or anything. It's just not a big deal at all. No one really says anything. I remember um, a dev said, oh, people react to you using them, but like nothing bad will happen. No. I never had one person react. So I, had I did it in front for... of teachers. I did it in yeah. front of other students. No one ever reacted when I Vada Kedabra people in the air. So it did make a Vada Kedabra less crazy because i was i already felt like i was killing these people so i i didn't really yeah. care yeah because i had the first two curses i actually never got avada kedavra yes um because we'll we'll touch on that in a yeah, little bit yeah because we're gonna have a whole plot section okay. of this of this uh spoiler cast but um as we're kind of closing out on creatures and combat um i've pretty much said all i want to say I, I do i did enjoy like i said i enjoyed the wizards my favorite part was fighting wizards i got tired of spiders if i'm being honest near the end they just yeah. got we really fighting way too many. They got boring after a while. Also, you have too, so many fire spells that mm-hmm. they can't really fight you anymore because as soon as they're mm-hmm. on fire, they do a freak out and they just become way, way easy to kill. You can then blow them up, too, if yeah. you like combo it. Uh, but that's beside the point. Any last notes in, in, until we move on? No, uh, I honestly, I feel like um, I, well, I mean, I know it's like the base of it, but I kind of got got tired of the goblins. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I I was whatever about the goblins. I get it though. I mean, yeah. you can get tired of really any of these things. You fight yeah. you fight a lot in this game. Yeah. Yeah, it depends I guess on the part you're at cuz there'll be some parts like I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm, is it done yet?" <laughs> <laughs> Fighting so many people. Right, let's move on to Let's hit We are yeah, we already talked about characters. We already talked about combat. We already talked about Hogwarts. Um, you kind of touched on it, so let's go into it. Let's let's talk characters, and uh, we can tangentially talk about plot and these things as well. Okay. Um, let let's loosely talk about the plot. What was some of your favorite standout uh, points from the story overall? Uh, we could talk, of course, about the ending, about the midway point. Um, if I may, let's actually stick um to the main quest because I actually don't have too much to say about the main quest. Okay. Uh, honestly, because I don't think it's actually very good. I think the main quest is actually, I think. Probably the worst part of the entire game is literally yeah. the main quest line from B to B. I think the pacing's really bad. I think the overall narrative, although is very intriguing when we're getting the flashback scenes. Yeah, not very intriguing outside of any of that. I love actually when we get to look at the past um, and we get to learn more and more about Isadora and her motivations. That and, was like, the why part that I liked the these. most too, just wanting to know why she did it or like that was my favorite we, part, but then we had to do these trials, and like, it never really felt right pacing wise. Where we like, we did all these trials, then we saw a memory, and then it, this was all to lead up to figure out where the last um, 
Do you remember what it was called? The last sanctuary of like the ancient repository. Magic... Repository. Thank you. We're trying to find the repository the whole time, and like I just did not. I I didn't like the the pacing because yeah, throughout the whole game you have this main quest line, but it's also tied into the side quests because you have to do the yeah. side quests to get to the main storyline, and then if you're doing the side quests, you notice how much better there are versus yeah. the actual main story. I actually yeah. think it ends. Kind of strong. And again, I like the flashbacks, but anything other than that, I, I could give her, uh, I could leave it on, to be honest. What, what did you think about kind of the main storyline? Um, what did you think about our antagonist, Ran Rock, Rock? I mean, take, take any thread. So I like the antagonist, Ran Rock, but I feel like, honestly, I feel like we didn't get enough of him. Nope. For him being the main, main baddie and only having one battle with him at the very fucking end. We Mind only you, have he's one a, He turns into a fucking really. dragon. Yeah, he turns into a dragon, by the way. Which, which I was like, this is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, oh, that whole fight was awesome. But it like, was awesome, but it was, was like in, in my mind, I'm like, why don't we get to fight him? Like, maybe like once or twice throughout the story. It was like, oh, you know, we see him getting stronger because he's getting all the repositories. And then we're getting stronger at the same time, so we kind of have, like, a revenge fight at the very end. But we don't get that. It's like, I feel like we just, like, we were more stuck on just, it's like, hey, Brookwood and, and, uh, and, uh, oh God, the goblins. Renrock is, uh, they're working together. Hey, they're working together. Hey, they're working together. And you don't I'm really like, see I, them until the end of the game. Exactly. Like the beginning part in the town where they're meeting. And you and you like eavesdrop on them on whoever you selected to come with you, Natia yes. or Sebastian. Yeah, they see you. You run into, uh, not Hogshead. Um, three, three broomsticks. broomsticks. You run into three broomsticks. You introduce to Serena. Uh, she protects you, mm -hmm. and then we really don't see them until the end of the game. <laughs> like yeah, that. That's... that's really it. Like, and it was kind of shocking. I was like, "What? Uh, why? Yeah, like, like you, if you don't learn more about." Uh, Rockwood, you you the yeah. most you learn is he's a descendant of one of the four of Charles Rockwood, which of is one Charles of the keepers. Rockwood. And it's like, oh, I I hope we investigate more of that. Maybe they have, a, yeah. Maybe they have a discussion, and it's like Charles is like, hey, you're my descent. No, they never talk. We no. never get more background on him. You only find him uh, when you go to kill him, pretty much, or you don't even go to kill him. He like sneaks up on you, but you just murder his whole yeah. gang, and yeah, and then you fucking kill him. Yeah, you just kill him. Ran walk same way. You don't really talk to him. You talk to him once when you find out that you're working with his brother the whole time, which I thought was a good twist. But again, that was yeah. We don't we don't Lock have time to like really like that. I actually liked him. Um, what's his, what's his name? What's the brother's name? Lock up. Lodgok. Yeah, I liked Lodgok as a character. I kind of felt a little bit when he when he uh, when he was killed. But yeah. Again, like I never, I I didn't have like a strong attachment to anything. I didn't have a strong attachment to Ranrock as a villain because it just like he seemed like because in what was I most frustrated is Alex is the goblin perspective actually kind of seems something that I agree with throughout the goblins' perspective. They've been looked down by wizards the whole time. They're like outlawed from owning wands. Like that's a big deal. Like they are. Yeah. They are being to some extent, looked down upon and um, uh, harassed by wizards. At least to, to, to some extent. So I feel like it should have been very easy to make me at least sympathize with his cause. We don't really touch that. We only get yeah, like, the little bit yeah. of goblin culture, which I always like too, which like they don't view ownership the same way. Um, mm -hmm. Whoever makes something is the owner and they only let you borrow it. So it's always whoever makes it. They're always the owner. That's why he wants the repository, because his great grandfather, I, I want to say, made the repository. So that means mm -hmm. it's his because it's only the, when you give it to someone, it's only on loan. You never yeah. you never really give something away. That's kind of the same. Uh, you actually see this in the books with the sword of Gryffindor, because uh, that was also goblin made. But. Uh, so goblins actually see that as something that's theirs, and they're just mm -hmm. letting people borrow it. Uh, but what did you think, uh, Rockwood, Ren Rock? What do you think of the things I've said? Again, I don't think we sympathize really at all. With I just, no, I th I think it's just like for the story being, Ren Rock is the main baddie, Rookwood is the main side baddie. They it they you get none of that 
It was like they're literally they're like, hey, Ranrock. Is uh, it's, it's like it's like as bad, for example, like in the movies. Oh, Sirius Black is out. He's the bad bad. He's the baddie. Voldemort's back. He's the big baddie. Like, but you never in the game you never see them. But they're like, hey, do these trials and look at these memories about Isadora. All right, so is the game about Isadora? Uh, I thought, is, is I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a huge twist, and she's. I like, thought she was gonna be back or some shit. I thought she was going to be where we're headed at the end of the game. And she mm. did something and she's like this ancient magic being. Yeah, I thought, I thought he to was the repository, like the, the yes. energy. Yeah, I thought she was going to be like the end. Go- like we get there to be like, oh, we're going to destroy it. And we find out that yeah. it's been fused with Isadora and she's been living down there this whole time. Or she's crazy yeah. and she's been living off of the- well, I thought it was, was going to be something like that. Was that was been- pain uh, magic. She so was I thought she was going to turn stronger. into it or some shit. I thought she was, yeah, I thought she was going to be, like, I thought she made up, maybe would have been immortal, maybe yeah. she was living off this ancient magic that she had stored down there this whole time, waiting for something to come down, I don't know, but it seemed like it was kind of built that way, and it just didn't happen, and again, we were given these Ren Rocks, and you brought up Voldemort. I'll actually give out, a that's a actually good example of someone that you don't sympathize with because he's a horrible person. But you fear him throughout the story because we keep getting doses of what yeah. they're capable of. Like throughout yeah. the books and throughout the movies, you get little doses. You see him every now and then or you see their henchmen or you see things that have come about them. Maybe you are caught by them at one time and you're beaten by them and you have to be saved by a professor. And that may. And yeah. that lets you get the, so you're afraid of them a little bit or something. I didn't feel anything when I saw them. I really was like, oh, yeah. you're the antagonist. I got to hit you until yep. your hub part goes zero. And then then that's as that's as that's as much of a connection as we had. And that's, a, I yep. think, unfortunate. And I think a lot of the reason why the main story isn't very good. Yeah. Like, I feel like if they would have stuck with something like more of an antagonist, like I get that there was the Goblin War and, it's, you know, he's the baddie. But like that, I feel like that should have been the side story. And the main story would have been like a baddie, like like Voldemort or Grindelwald. Like if they would have made Isadora more, I think it should. Have yeah, been yeah. Isadora. That's what I'm saying. If they would have made it Isadora, it made her like scarier and see what like if she went on a rampage or something. Like like at that point, she she was using the children, like like uh, like. But we didn't get far into that. Like, yeah, and, then and we only get. Her. And we only kind of hear that she did it. We don't get, we don't really see yeah, it. Yeah, you don't see it. Like, I, like, I, as fucked up as it is, I wanted to see her do that so that I know I'm terrified. Or we're like, oh shit, she's really bad. Yeah, like, I, I, I thought it was interesting too uh, that, like, she kept, like, she was obsessed with, like, taking away pain and these, and we're just kind of like, nope. And that's the thing with her dad, dad like, as soon as, yeah. uh, she took, she takes the pain away, he sees fine. Uh, the one of the keepers comes to his house. It's like, hey, hey, and he's like looking and turn around, yeah, and he's, he's just like nothing. gone. Yeah. I thought he was turning into a dementor. Oh, I thought he was a. Uh, I thought he was just like a vacant body now. I thought. And, I thought pretty much what she was taking was their soul. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. I thought. Well, that's why I thought that because I don't know how dementors are made or what they are. Uh, I, I, but I, I thought not, I don't think they're I, they're like a thing. Are, are like they made? Race. They're they're creep. No, they're a creature. Oh, they're just creatures. Okay. Yeah. Because I thought like when she took that away, there's no soul, no nothing. So I thought when the dude walks in and everything started turning like misty, I thought it was getting cold. I thought he was. Uh, I thought he was gonna turn around and start turning into a dementor. And I'm like, mm. oh shit! So are these what? Are is this what created the dementors? I was like, that would have been fucking nuts. That would have been pretty crazy. Yeah. Like she's the Isadora created Dementors from taking everybody's pain and shit. Like yeah, they're I, ju- they're just a dark creature, so they're not like okay. Made. They're just they just ex- you know they're just exist. It's yeah. like a dog. Like they're just okay. They're just they're there. Just a thing. Yeah, and see, so, yeah, like my mind is thinking like when that would happen, I'm like, oh, because in my mind I'm still thinking we're gonna use the Patronus thing. So I, uh, cause I was a Hufflepuff, so I got the one mission where I got to go to Azkaban. Yes, yeah, so you brought it up. Let's let's kind of tackle that. Um, yeah, I don't even know if everyone knows this because you only would know it if either you're online or you're watching like other people playing this game. But yeah. you, each class gets a unique sub quest inside of the main story um, that you get to do, which is very, very interesting and um, different for everyone who played the game. My wife is is done a different one. You've done a different one. I did a different one. Um, so what did you think of yours? Uh, you're about to jump into it. So so uh, tell us a little bit about that one, just in case no one plans on playing 
another playthrough yeah. as a Hufflepuff. I I don't remember the details much, but I do remember like you go with um oh well, well who was it? It was it was a not Miss not Weasley. It was it was some woman you go with. She was like, "Hey, we have to go see this uh, see this chick that's in Azkaban." I think her name was Anne or Anna or something like that. Uh, and you, we go to you actually you go to, you go to Azkaban and you, as as soon as you get there, you look up and there's just Dementors flying everywhere, and you start walking forward and then a little cutscene happens, and the uh, the person that's with you does the Patronus charm and like scares them away. And uh, I was like, oh, cool. shit, this is cool. And I was hoping that I was like, oh, am I going to get to walk around? But there's literally just one hallway and you just go to the to the to the to the cell, which I was like kind of disappointed because I'm like, I literally was here for like 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah. It was probably just like, look, and then like, all right, yeah. So know. like I, I was hoping it was like to ask a man what would have been like kind of a dungeon type of thing where it's like oh it's like oh you know it's like a mission i get to run around azkaban do i get to uh, fight off dementors or something is this where i learn the patronus charm or like like i was i was hoping that i get more than like the 10 second cutscene or like or like the cutscene that i got yeah so mine was actually much uh, i don't know how long yours was but i was, it was kind of long um yeah my quest was, was long but that portion of azkaban was just like like a few minutes so mine occurred right before going and seeing the uh oh his name is tip my head the dude who got his head cut off um, nearly a headless Nick no 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 um <laughs> which he's in by the game he's in the, the game by the way who, yeah yeah I know uh, I'm about to okay. get to him um in a second okay. um but uh there's a guy who was killed in a cave we and it's early in the game you have to go find like something that he was looking for um it's not important <laughs> but okay. uh. I actually brought it up to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, I'm actually approached by a nearly headless Nick. Oh, um, gotcha. And we go and he asks me to go grab him uh, a plate of rotten roast beef. Oh. We're trying to um, impress the headless hunt to see if uh, nearly headless Nick can join them. And this is, of course, a thing that has ha- happens in the books, actually. Uh a nearly headless Nick wants to join the headless hunt. Of course, he can't because he's not headless. That's the joke. Um, he, uh, you get told, you told to go down into the um, uh, cooking area where the house elves are cooking. Uh, of course, you have to tickle the pair. That was always good. You tickle the pair. You get a doorknob. Open the door. You go down. All the house elves are cooking. You go. You find some roast beef. Go back to him. You you go. You give the guy the roast beef. They, of course, they can't eat. So like the rotten roast beef, it has such a strong taste that you can almost taste something. So all they do is kind of put their head in it uh, to like try and pretend like they're eating. Kind of sad when you really think about it. Um, mm-hmm. And then that is pretty much the the side quest. You, there's actually a giant uh, ghost party happening yeah. um, in this kind of uh, activity. I did a little mini game where like I had to find where the ghosts were hiding. Uh, so like they would find they would go into a barrel and it would move so i'd have to shoot it and i'd find them and i had to do that like three mm. times um but it was it was fun it, it i liked it because uh they didn't at least if they did i didn't see it because i i didn't like look too too much about this game but i didn't know they had an exclusive missions at all i feel like that was kind of kept neither wraps yeah um so that was a neat surprise because actually the only reason i found out was my wife walked in and asked like what are you doing and i was like oh i had to like uh, do this for a character. I had to like find these pages, of this journal or whatever. It's like mm. I didn't have, I didn't do any of this. I was like, well, I mean, you might not be as far as like, no, I did this mission. I didn't do this though. I went and did the, and she was like, she described some other thing. I, I'm blanking on it, but it was like Slytherin related. I think. I think she went into like a dungeon, mm-hmm. um, or something like that. Uh, so yeah. I remember she she did that. I don't know what the Ravenclaws do, uh, do but. That is what I didn't. It was very cool. It was it was kind of like a, a nice thing to know. It's like, oh, OK, so every house gets a little different. Every house gets. A, that's yeah, very, that's very cool. OK, um, aside from that, Alex, um, let's move on to characters. We've talked a little bit about the characters, not too much. We uh, mm-hmm. brought up Professor Fig. That's one of the characters. Um, uh, Let's just jump into this. What is your favorite character in this game? Alex? Who who is that? I want to jump right into the meat. Who is your favorite character in the game? It's be it's between two people. Okay. Uh Nati and um um uh, Pop Poppy? Pop, the yes. the 
Poppy. Yeah, should, should be Poppy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like her too. Why? Um, I I like that uh, she's so out. Uh, with Nadi, I like her background with not having to have having to be. Able, she doesn't need a wand. She's an animagus. Uh, the thing with her father, and then you know all uh, that her side quests. You know, with doing the going after uh not rockwood the other uh, his henchman guy what was his name oh um his, his side his side guy i forget yeah yeah it's but fine. yeah but yeah that was cool too that we did yeah have to, like go after his yeah henchman. i like They're yeah cool. i like that um and i like pop i like poppy as a um because i like how she's uh she you know she likes the love she loves the creatures and you actually you get to see the centaurs and you actually um you released the dragon. I thought it was because I was at first. I was like, "Is this the same dragon that killed the dude at the beginning of the game?" I thought so too. Looks, but then, but I, I, I like, thought they look similar, but I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh, I assume it was supposed to be, but I'm not sure. And me either. Um, I do like Sebastian. So I like his quest line. I don't know if I like him. Um, I think they did not do the character. Correct. I know what they were trying to do. Yeah, I don't think it was done correctly because it, it was yeah. not. It, we had kind of like an Anakin situation. If you guys watch Star Wars, where yep. they go from zero to 100 and there is no like that's, that's there's my no thing. reason on like why. Because like, first off, that's the whole fight with their uncle was weird. Why did the uncle uh, come in and immediately attack us? And it looked like Sebastian was always also attacking them. Clearly, I didn't do shit. And he's blaming me too. Yeah, I was. There was a lot of weird. Th- I don't think that was written particularly well. I did like the. Yeah. I, I liked everything else. As soon as it hit that, it actually got pretty bad, in my opinion. Um. I'm, oh, yeah. really quick, did you turn Sebastian in? Uh, since we brought up Sebastian, of course, Sebastian. Well, I did not kills his uncle in front of us. So. That's the thing. Like I was go, I was with him the whole time. I was like, I had him do. I learned Imperio. I did Incrucio. Yep, but when the with motherfucker, I I don't just I don't know where it goes. I went to nowhere. his uncle. No. I don't know where. I was like, bro, I get it. <laughs> no way. No, you why? not just to kill your uncle like but, that, dude. I. Why did he do that? Like there is no re. There there like, was no reason put it like you got psychopath? some villain tendencies bro yeah is he like a s- fucking psycho now like what what is this like when like when he did that i w- and it was like oh hey do you want to learn about a cadaver i was like no i said yes not from you i i said yes I, as soon as he brought it up i was like you know what you did good bro teach me about a cadaver i was like mm, I, i'll I'll, yeah. I, I, I want the killing curse like I, i'm taking ta- ta- it it did feel i did feel bad though like when he did yeah. that i was like first off again we went zero to 100 didn't make much sense why we did that. And none of it honestly made sense. It didn't make sense why yeah. the uncle immediately walked in and started shooting at us. So it's like, yep. what? And it didn't make sense that we like fought him like a boss. I, why and we, by yourself? Why is Sebastian over here being like a little bitch and fucking. Why is there in theory coming out of the ground while we're fighting him and they're while fighting, we're fighting us? Him? Oh it, my God, the affair is so annoying. It, it was really. I think that was actually some of the wor- that one of the worst parts of the game because it was so good leading up to that. Yeah, and it was kind of frankly ruined a bit once once all that is concluded. I, I really didn't think yeah. that was very good. Um, yeah, because I like the sister or um, Anne. Yeah, I, I liked like, her. I like her situation. I was hoping I like that we were gonna. I thought we were gonna fix her. Me too. Like I, I really thought, thought we were gonna. But like, I, I I thought it was gonna be something bad. I thought something bad was gonna happen. Like way worse. I thought he was going to do the spell where he takes her pain and I thought it was going to kill her or something or, or, or and he was like, I, but he killed the uncle instead. And I thought he was going to kill the sister act by mistake. I knew she wouldn't, I knew she wouldn't die as soon as like the uncle died. I was like, okay, well, mm-hmm. it's going to, she's, she's going to be mad at him. I will ask. Yeah. Um, what? Um, uh, oh, and um, we, we kind of skimped by this gaunt gaunt is a integral character to this entire plot line. what do you think of? ominous gaunt of course if you don't know oh, gaunt is ominous yeah yeah yep yeah. gaunt is a very important name in hogwarts if you do not know gaunt's line turns out to be voldemort later on i don't know if everyone uh, at home knows this this really? course, isn't fully known yet so gaunt is voldemort's father father's line. oh so his father's name was um something guy i don't remember i'm blanking on his name but it should have been his father uh is is the actual gaunt line so his line goes and becomes Voldemort, which is so funny that he's still a Slytherin. He knows Parseltongue, of course, because he's a descendant of 
that was a scissor, and of course, Voldemort was too. And uh, he's the good in this game, which I, 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 I very much liked, even though he was gaunt, even though we know where that line ends up. He was actually pretty morally good in, in this game. Pretty straight and narrow. He's really trying to help Sebastian uh, stay on the straight and narrow. He understands and needs to be fixed, but he does not want dark magic to be used. And he was one of the characters that actually ended up correct. He he was right at the end, right? He he was saying, hey, oh, this the is mother going to... Is, uh, oh, is it Meryl the mother's gone? Gaunt. Oh, the mother's mm-hmm. gone. Sorry. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, the, the father was Tom Riddle Sr., you know what? That yeah, I shouldn't. I should remember that. So it was the mother was gone. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, yep. but oh, what was I saying? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, you're <laughs> fine. Um, you did though. Uh, Gaunt. <laughs> yes, uh, Ominous Gaunt was very cool mo- moral character. He's kind of the only one that uh tried to remain on the straight and narrow. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, I did like the little touch that he was blind, but he used magic to kind of see where he was do- what he was doing, and he could still. Do things. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I love the touch of uh, you only got one letter with from him. Uh, of course, it's because he's blind, so he he can't write. And he ends mm-hmm. the message with, "I hope this will uh, this quill is writing correctly." <laughs> like I was like, "Oh my god, it's such a nice touch." Because uh, yeah. the whole game, uh, you don't realize you don't get a letter from him until then, and then you're like, "Oh, that's nice that I got." It. And then you figure, "Oh wait, yeah, because he's blind, he can't write." Yes, yeah. To make a enchanted quill write for him. But yeah, yeah. What did you um? Again, let's uh, we'll wrap while we're wrapping up the Sebastian storyline. Of course, uh, I I didn't send him to um, um, Azkaban. If you turn him in, he goes to Azkaban. Uh, very, I, I guess there's just no, there is no um, uh, juvie in Harry Potter world. Like you just go straight you, to Guantanamo Bay. Did you ever Bay. hear there's about no him again? Uh, I think at the end, Weasley tells you that he went to Azkaban. I think is how it works, or okay. Omnis might tell you. Um, but once if you turn him in, you get one voice line later. And that's it. OK. Yeah, I didn't turn him in. Um, I think uh, Sebastian. What was it? I think he said something about that. His sister, his sister, just it's not speaking to him right now. And uh, yeah, shocking. I wonder why. Yeah. And she's like, he hopes that she uh, she comes around or she's going to need time. But then that that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of ends kind of open. Mm-hmm. Onimus is like we, you know, he's like I tried. I don't, I don't know what else I could have done. <laughs> he's pretty much like, yeah, yeah. That's this. He pretty much called it. He, all, all the dark magic we went down and just made everything worse. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. All we did was kill the uncle. That's all we really did at the end. He, they did kind of try and paint him as a mean guy. Did you read him as like a dick? I, 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 I read him that Which he guy? was mean to the the uncle. Um. Oh, Lincoln on his name. The, he's a former Auror. Yeah, yeah, I forget his name. Uh, yeah, I didn't it's, like him. It, it, okay, so you didn't like him. I was indifferent. He seemed to be a dick to Sebastian, but it seemed like he was being nice to Anne. So I was like, eh, it's fine. I don't. Really yeah, care. I um, feel like it was one of those things. I feel like that he's just treating Sebastian as the the rebel child. So he's just like, yeah. oh, you know, stay away from her. It's like, bitch, who are you? You're the uncle. You're not and the father. He, and then he and then he turns and then he tries to kill him later. Still weird. Yeah. Still weird. All that's still very strange. Why we picked all that? I don't know what's going on with um with any of that but uh we let's wrap up the Sebastian storyline it was it was pretty good again it was very good until it wasn't and then it became yeah. really bad in my opinion yeah um you 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 talked about natia and she's actually my favorite character in the whole game um yeah. i like that she was um a um transfer student from uganda i believe um that should be is that where she's from i want to make sure let's i get see. that right yeah you look it up while i um introduce her but of course, she's coming from there. You get a little background from the uh, African school that she's from. Uh, they actually don't use wands. That's actually something that's been long established in like the Harry Potter lore. That there's mm-hmm. a whole school that they don't need wands. They just they can cast with their hands. Uh, and I love the line that you get when she asks. She's like, but I do like wands. It's much more dramatic. And I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> she's really cool. I loved her. Um, I loved her voice act. Or yeah, what was she she's doing? uh yeah she's originally from Madab Madabila Mat- I don't know how to say that uh okay. but in Africa but she moved to Uganda and it was attended attending uh Yogado Yogado okay that's the that's the that's their their school Yogado that's maybe why I thought of Uganda because it yeah U A G A D O U thank you I'm trying to find. Wow, Godot, well, I don't know. There we go. Sorry, Jessica I'm, I'm Hayes. 
Jessica Haley said Natsia Onia. And that was very, very good. She was very yep. good. I, I very much um she was like I feel like my closest friend in that game because I always yeah. took her along with me when we got to choose. Um yep. they were it seems like they were trying to do this kind of Mass Effect X situation, but I, I don't think they could they could pull it off or had enough time mm-hmm. to really do that. Because uh, it was just so random when we were able to like, oh, choose who you want to bring with you. And it happened twice in the entirety of the whole game. And it was like in the was first it, five hours. So it was like, was it only between those two? Or was there a third one? Nope, it was just those two Poppy, okay. I would consider the third main friend, but the, you're never able to bring her anywhere. So, I, yeah. But again, that only was happened it, twice in the entirety of the game. And it was in the first five yeah. hours. So clearly well, that I was, was cur- not like an intended feature. Well, I was curious because Nazi's Gryffindor and Sebastian's a Slytherin. I'm surprised they didn't have they didn't have a main Raven Pop- car. Uh, Poppy's Hufflepuff. Oh uh, yeah, um, Poppy's we have Hufflepuff. a Raven. We have a Ravenclaw friend. I don't remember her name. Uh, we have there the guy. A- um, um, we have a meet the the dude with the telescope. Oh, there you go. And uh, wasn't the uh this is random not and she wasn't a main character by no means but there is the quiz lady she was a ravenclaw of course oh yeah um, yeah she was ravenclaw yeah and then there was the other friend. other slytherin the, the chick with the broom uh yes she yeah. was fun she was, she was yeah, she, yeah that was kind of i liked that kind of anti like, like a yeah. friendly just, rivalry kind of yeah po- she was like one almost the- pokemon-esque thing where like you mm-hmm. kind of have this friendly rivalry together yeah. when you're doing these things i did like that she turned into an uh animagus that was really cool. I did not see that coming. She was like, oh, by the way, I'm an anime. Just she had this very touching story with her father. Um, mm-hmm. I did think and again, I keep saying this. I did think it ended not as great because it seemed forced mm-hmm. because they literally. So, like, of course, it ends with Nazi blocking you from hit being hit by Crucio by the dude's henchman. Yep. Um, which is hilarious because I killed that guy with the Vada Kedavra. <laughs> Uh, so I because I ended the boss fight literally immediately. I walked and hit a lot of Kadabra and, and it put him down to one HP. Um, Damn. So it's funny that he was still left. But he hits Crucio at her, which again, I was like, why didn't you do a lot of Kadabra? I understand you don't want to kill a kid, but whatever. Do the Crucio. She blocks. She blocks and gets hit by it. And then, of course, you go back to the. Uh, medic nursery uh, place. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the hospital, the, hosp- the, the hospital, hospital wing. wing? Yes, and uh, she's being treated, and it's very forced. But it's like, oh, you're not mad. It's like, why would I be mad? I, I protected you, um, and I and I did it uh, to protect you. And then she's like, oh no, I I I've been saying the same thing about my father because she's been feeling yeah. bad that like she felt like she she's like I did the same thing he did because um some poachers mistake them for real, uh, like real antelope. So like they they actually they yeah. like shot shot them to like get their stuff. Yeah. Um. And then, so I feel like that was just forced, to, like forcedly written. I was like, okay, this could be written a little better, but still, still good. I love, I love Nazi. She was, she, she has a special place in my heart. If this gets a sequel, mm. I hope I see her in it. This may be yeah. a professor. Of course, we get her mother. Uh, is the um, divination divination's teacher? Yes, she can uh, tell the future, and that was uh one of the cool parts too. She yep. was very cool. We didn't get much of her. We we got a little bit through some storylines, but that was it. Yeah. Um, we brought up divination. Let's let's pivot a tiny bit. What did you think about going to class? I I liked it. Um would do you want would you have wanted more classes? Like a persona type of thing. Okay, there you go. I was waiting. I was like, he's gonna say persona. If not, I'm gonna say it. Yeah, uh, I think this would have benefited much more with being a closer to persona like experience. Yeah, where it really does feel like you're going to class and you're like learning as we're going, learning and doing. Um, yeah, there's like a week or something. Obviously, going day by day is very hard, and there's a reason no, Persona's sure. the only real game that kind of does that. Like, uh, there's other yeah. games, but Persona's the only triple A polished experience that really goes day by day and day matters by day, what you do with your time it, like yeah if you go and do something that is your day and like yeah. you know so i understand why they want to do that that is a whole different ballpark but yeah it if it, it only felt like i was actually going to school like one out of like 10 yeah. times i actually went to class because every now and then you'd go to class and then there'd be a little cutscene it was always kind of fun they'd be asking yeah. a question but that only happened like now 10 times. Do you feel like they did that on purpose? 
because hence i know this had uh, this the game is separate from the movies but in the movies you go you see like a scene or two of the classes and then the rest of the movie all the movie like of that movie is them doing crazy shit and doing a bunch of stuff not in class things like that do you think they try to kind of portray that same feeling no i don't think so i okay. the way i thought about it is and I thought very plainly. I, I didn't. I didn't get very creative with my thinking here. I just. I think. I just think straight up that they just couldn't make a, a, a way to justify going to class every day and yeah. having adventures and pacing that well. The reason Persona is so good at what it does is because you choose the pacing. You choose the pacing. the The game is as fast as you want it. It does not force you to do anything. The mm. only thing it forces you to do is get this objective done by this day, right? And that's 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 kind of different than what they probably could have done here. I don't think the, that's that's not the game they wanted to make. Um, they wanted to make an open world, go do whatever you want, yeah, semi RPG landscape. I, so this is the game they wanted. It's I think it's fine. I would have liked to feel like I was actually going to class. I mean, if you're really if we're really straightforward, we never went to class. We're like skipping school. It's actually oh, yeah. a very big deal when you leave the school grounds. Completely ignore that whole factor in this. It's a big deal. You, there's a curfew in in yeah. Hogwarts too. It, I, Completely disregard it. You, n- none yeah. of that is important in this game. So they break these that... rules though because the game has to be compelling. Yeah. So like they they if you go, you're making a whole different game if you live up to those um, yeah. examples that we just proposed. Like. If you go to make a persona, that's a completely different framework than I imagine what they wanted to do. And they probably wanted to make a lot of money. The more you do with that, the less money you probably make because it becomes more niche. Yeah. Yeah, I just wish they would add some more elements. Like when you first get um, the Holohomora and you're like, and the guy's like, hey, you got to sneak into this area and sneak around and go get this thing or whatever. Like you sneaking around, all the people, all all the, and like going around. I thought we were gonna have more of that in yep. Castle. Yep, me too. Like, like I thought these, it was like, oh, nighttime curfews. Areas. I thought it was gonna be, like the old Harry Potter games. Where it was like, oh, if you go through, you know, Snape is walking around. If he sees you, he's gonna catch you. Yep. Like here, I thought there was gonna be like, you know, a random, uh, um, what are they called? Um, the head of the head of the the house or whatever. Oh, uh, what are they called? Oh, um. Prefect. Uh, prefix, thank you. I thought we would see maybe a prefect or something walk in. It was like, oh shit, I gotta hide. And like I like during nighttime or something. But no, I didn't get in any of that. We only got that with like that that thing in the in the in the castle just like once. Yeah, I have to uh, I have to agree. Um it's hilarious that they have two areas that are restricted in the castle. And I completely mm-hmm. disregard that as soon as those submissions are done. <laughs> you can just yeah. walk in them. There is nothing. I imagine what they want to do is like, hey, we don't want to put limits on you. Just go and have fun. Yeah. It's less immersive, but you up the 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 way you want to play the game. I don't know. I, I thought that was interesting, too. I really did think you'd have to sneak around and things when I was doing that. I was like, oh, so this is the part of the castle that's going to be restricted probably during nighttime. And then I'm going to mm-hmm. have to get the moons this way, too. I'm probably not going to be able to be seen when I get them. Yep. No. <laughs> nope. Not at all. You just go I, I was hoping. I was assuming. I was like, oh, maybe that's what the invisibility potion is for, so we can get around faster and better. Nope. I didn't use that potion once. Why? Why would I use it? I have a spell. I that have does the this. spell. Why would I care about the invisibility? Yeah. I was confused about that. Um. Also, <laughs> excuse me. Also, to quickly bring up, um, uh, you're able to just walk into uh professor's private quarters. Like just no big mm-hmm. deal. That was weird too. I literally in front of in front of the teacher, I uh-huh. broke into their office, walked in, read private notes. I think I don't think so. Yeah, I think perfect. it was sh- I think it was sharp. I don't remember. Okay. I went um, through Weasley because she just had a door that was locked to her right. Yeah. And I just like in front broke of them, in. broke in yeah. with a little more walk in, read their so I'm this as a student, I'm walking in, I'm like reading flipping through pages and like reading their notes. I see a chess. I break into it, pick up this shitty blue gear, put it in my backpack, <laughs> walk away. Like there's so many like weird things that they just de- they definitely made. A we decision. didn't find anything else. Mm-hmm. They definitely made a decision early on. They were like, "Hey, we're gonna make this kind of like 
fun. We don't want to make this like a sim. This is. This isn't a Hogwarts student sim. This is. You're a student, but you're in Hogwarts. You know what I mean? Like you're not. This isn't like a simulation of you being a Hogwarts student. You're playing yeah. as a Hogwarts student in like Hogwarts land, kind of. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're, so, you're like, yeah, like again, you they, are, a, you're a student, but you're not playing as a student. Yeah, you're not literally simulating like going, to going day by day classes. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's just like a, it's just a quest that you do once. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much what I thought about. Uh, I don't even know what how how we started that conversation. Being honest, we were talking about we, the classes at first. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. I opened it with classes and these things. It was very. I did like them, and oh, I was a big yeah. fan of. Um, uh astronomy yes big fan yeah, of astronomy was... i, I like yep. the little puzzle you gotta like flip it around did you find your did you find your sign for I the didn't. i didn't i was you trying didn't? to i found mine i did oh you didn't okay yeah i i was trying i like every that time was, like, i saw the third one. one too i was like got lucky and i was like oh i'm doing it, i'm doing it. it's like and then it said sagittarius i'm like oh heck yeah quick note um not really something worth bringing up later but i do love that um very similar to Last of Us, of course not. It, that's this isn't an homage to it. It's actually an homage to the uh, movies, don't lie. most likely. Don't lie. don't lie, it is. But um, <laughs> it's it's probably close to the movies on why this is. But <laughs> they do have um seasons as part of oh, the story that progression. That was very yeah. fun. That, that was very cool. A yep. lot of a lot of screenshot worthy um moments yes. uh, too. You got a picture of a very beautiful snowy Hogwarts or. Or the yep. autumn Hogwarts. Um, my wife. The amount of time that I just got on the room and just flew through the like in in the winter when a Hogsmeade, seeing all the Christmas stuff. Yep, it was yep. so cool. Very cool, and and everything was designed appropriately. This game really does like it. Really did take its time and yeah. really. You feel make like sure, you're in Hogwarts. Yes, it feels like you're in Hogwarts. It feels like you're in Hogsmeade. Every part is like made like everything felt touched and looked at. Everything yeah. felt like someone looked at it, made sure it looked great. Everything was like polished um, aesthetically to a T. I'm not saying the, the technical yeah. aspects of the game was polished, but the actual like visual and like how everything reads was actually very, very well done. Um, it, yeah. it is shocking how good this is. This might be one of the best like realized worlds not created in a video game format. Like this was started as a book. I, I, I have to think, but like, I can't think of an adaptation that's as true to the source material in this specific way um, than anything else. I have something ahead. L let me know in the comments if you guys can think of something. I think this is one of the best video game adaptations of a world. Um, I, what immediately comes to mind is like Transformers Cybertron um, games. Yeah. They came all the time. That was actually very, very... Um, Close to the source video and very well done with like the lore of that story, but this might be one of the best games in terms of adapting something to a video game uh, that was actually very well done to the point where it feels like it's it might be the best interpretation of that world ever made, including the books, which is pretty crazy. Talking about yeah. the actual castle because you can see it in these things. Mm. Okay, let's see. We've talked a good bit about everything, Alex. Um, quickly, uh, we'll rapid fire through some of the professors. Anyone stand out to you? I didn't really attach to any specific professor. I did enjoy Professor Garlic. She's very pretty. Say yeah. that. She did have mommy vibes. She she seemed very young. Like she I'm did. Curious, like maybe she was one of the just like you know you uh, like. All the schools have that one, you know, younger teacher that's just came out of college or just came out of like, you know, they're just their first year or some shit. She was very I'm nice. wondering if, yeah, I'm wondering if that's what the impression was for her. Voiced by Maura Quirk. Um, Professor Sharp, um, voiced by Matthew Watterson. I liked him a lot too. Yeah. Now, I lately, did... Nicole was voiced by, uh, or uh, voiced Professor Weasley. Mm hmm. Yeah, I did like Miss. I think I like Professor Weasley. I did enjoy Professor Fig. I just wish there were certain parts because he kind of was uh, like when you come to see when you come to see him, you you explain to him what you've been doing. He's be like, "Oh, really? What?" <laughs> like I was like, "Bro, relax." Just like like I thought Fig like, was uh, fine. I, I was not yeah. very attached to him, if I'm being honest. When he was um oh at the end of the game, like when he passes away, I was like, "Yeah, this is appropriate." Like your wife. 
died. I, I could see this happening. I wasn't yeah. shocked or anything. I was actually like, no, yeah. he seems I coming, but I was happy. upset about it. Oh no, I was upset. I just wasn't like. Oh no! Like, I, I'm yeah. over like bl- like blown away that it's happening. I, he seemed happy, so I was kind of happy yeah. for him. He was like, "Oh, I, oh!" He said his wife's name. I was like, "Whoa, well, yeah." I, I mean, I get it. I yeah. I kind of feel you with this one, dude. Like, I'm right there with you. We're like, yeah, no, I understand. He's probably he's probably kind of happy he's dying. Were you? Did you care that we didn't get a sort of like Hagrid in this game? I mean, we did technically. There's a housekeeper or a groundskeeper. Uh, well, we do have a, gr- a there is one, but like not as extent. Like I'm saying, like you know, in the in the movies, like Hagrid's always there. He's the, like the like the best friend, like a, a good friend, you know. Like I, the only thing I could I, I could think of was, I mean, Deke, I guess. I mean, Professor he's Fig is probably grounds. the closest. Hagrid yeah, I guess so, Professor. I, I guess so. Yeah, um, I didn't think but, of it that way. But yeah, I see what you mean. That I, I don't. I I I didn't feel. I mean, we had Fig. He was like pretty much up our ass the whole game, so I didn't think we needed another yeah. like. That's true. I guess faculty yeah. member like, on, and we had. A, I don't know. Miss Weasley was really up our butt too. It was like, hey, yeah. are you sure Are you doing hey, something right? Um, is it true what uh, Fig is telling me? And I'm like, how many times are you gonna ask this lady? And like, I, I, I'm told you. Like, Honestly, I'm, she kept at, dude. She kept asking me. I thought she was gonna wind up being bad. I, I kind of got that feeling too, and that's funny. My wife did too. It so it's not just us. I kind of yeah, was like, I, is, she kept is she, she kept asking, and I was like, uh, I was like, I don't think Fig is talking to you. Are you sh- like, how do you know what's happening? Yeah, I, like I was so kind of the same way. I thought, I, I was, yeah, I thought this was kind of semi hinting that she's trying to figure out what we're doing so she can keep tabs on us. Um, because I, she's I working with maybe the antagonist or something. I thought like a per, I'm sure there's a Professor Weasley. But I thought they were gonna do the oh, apology potion apologies moody potion. situation. Yeah, no, you de- they definitely could have. Uh, I will say no apology shenanigans in the game aside from the one we did, which yes. uh, let's I, yeah. let's talk about that really quick. Um, in in one yep. second. But that is uh, that was surprising that we didn't get apology moment. Um, yeah, done I to thought, us. Honestly, I, I thought Rookwood would have done it at, like and pretend to be somebody. Yeah, yeah. Um. But uh, since I brought up the apologies, I want to bring up my favorite mission in the entire game. Oh, yes. Ah, so that's I the Deathly it. Hollows mission. Yep, I was going to say it's my favorite so, one as well. I'd like to quickly give the background on how I experienced this quest really quick. Of course, you do all the cool things leading up. Um, you get to, like, pretend to be the uh, the uh, I keep blanking on what what is uh, the head, uh, the head of the school, you know, um, serious or uh, serious black professor uh, black. No, but I know his, his name is Professor Black. What, what is his title again? Head of head, headmaster. The yeah, headmaster he's headmaster. Hogwarts. Yeah, yeah, headmaster. Headmaster yeah. Hogwarts. So you get to pretend to be a headmaster. It's funny. You get to like do funny quips. Um, people are like yelling at you and stuff. So. And then, uh, did yep. you do the thing where um, when you're leaving um, the dining hall, you're like, oh, and by the way, uh, celebrate Gryffindor, and like he shoots up and the Gryffindor flags come down. No, I didn't do that. No. So after talking with his house elf. Okay. If you stand, if you look at the podium and hit X to interact or a, um, to interact, okay. um, your character goes like, uh, like, you know, uh, oh, and it's time to celebrate a uh, Gryffindor or whoever your house is. And, yeah. and all of the, um, tapestry changes to Gryffindor colors and like, oh, they funny. all come down and, and flop down. It was very cool. Um, Rebecca did it too with the Slytherin. It, it just looks cool. Cause like, you're like, Oh, you know, celebrate yeah. them. And then yeah. all this stuff comes but of course, you go back to uh, the headmaster's office. Um, you get to see all the past portraits of the other headmasters, which is always a good touch in the books. Mm. And if you don't know, um, in the books, Professor Sharp is actually a very important character um, in the last few books of the Harry Potter story. So that was very cool seeing him here. But leading into there, you go into the book that the third um, keeper wants you to do. I'm blanking her name. But the uh, third keeper. Oh, Neve. Go... Is it Neve? That sounds Neve. Right. Something yeah, that sounds, that sounds right. Um, and you go into the book. And at first, Alex, I thought it was just an homage to the poem. I thought it was just like, oh, mm-hmm. it's it's cool. It's like this is their attempt to like, oh, you know, remember the the cool uh, poem in, in Harry Potter. Like this is like, you know, we're going to do that in this style. It's not going to be too crazy. Uh, but no. You straight up do a retelling of the Deathly Hollows almost. Like you go and you find the uh, cloak. 
you find the uh uh the Jesus. It's not the Death Wand. Um, they they well they didn't even call it the Elder Wand. They didn't. I don't think so. They I don't just think... they. I don't think they called they called it the cloak, and I don't think they called I don't think they called it the Elder Wand. They had a different name for it. In this Interesting. Scene. Um, but uh, anyways, they 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 pick up the Elder Wand, and then you end it by hitting the Sorcerer's Stone. But I thought that I loved that part. It was very cool. The art style was very pretty. Um, yeah, Nee Fitzgerald. That was the lady's name. Nee is Fitzgerald. Yeah, I loved uh, using the uh, Elder Wand to just blast everyone to death, like just blow apart everyone around you. That was so cool. Yeah. I mean, we obviously we know it's the Elder One, but I could uh, they 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 Excuse called me. it something different. Yeah, I'm faintly with you on this. I can't quite remember what you're talking about, though. What did you think about not having an owl? This is completely random, random thing. We didn't get to have an. Which animal. is weird because we technically do. It's just sitting we in do. the common room. We do. It sits in our common room. That's our owl post. It seems so forced because you could just check yeah. it in your menu. So it's like, why is this here? Yeah, um, but but it was weird that you didn't get to pick an animal because you can pick like in the just in case you don't know at home in the wizarding world it's like weird if you don't not it's not looked at as weird but it's common like everybody to have, has one it's common to have an animal companion and like the popular ones are like cat rat toad and an owl yeah those are like the four popular ones and we don't get any of them we just have an owl that we're never given they just show up <laughs> so it's like it's just weird. Very yeah. strange. I just that popped in my head because I um honestly I looked in my background and saw uh, the owl. So I was like, wait, what? Well, that was I remember that being very strange. Yeah. Um. Uh, wrapping up pretty much because we're we're pretty. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Neve. All all she tells you, she warns you to wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Uh, and that's all. And that's all she says. And the, the person was saying those. It's the original Elder One, the second Deathly Hollows. But yeah, they don't even call it that. She just says, "Just wield the wand." I wonder why. I wonder if there's a reason, or if it's just that it was cooler to say it that way. <laughs> I don't know. Because the Elder One is kind of a cool name, so you think you'd want to say it, but mm -hmm. not, not very important. To the, Honestly, I forget. Because. <laughs> I forget how it, how how Grindelwald gets it, because Grindelwald has it, and then Dumbledore gets it. It's like passed down, so I don't know. Yeah, well, it's, I imagine it's, killing somebody. Well, no, yeah, it's like if you. I mean, well, if you um, what's it called? If you uh, what, what's what's the word when you like uh, when you take a weapon away from somebody and like uh, feather armors disarm them. Yeah, dis dis thank you. Disarm. If you disarm the pers that person, it's officially yours. That's why in the movies, technically, it's Harry's wand because he disarmed Draco. But he, you don't even have to beat them. You just disarm them, and it's officially yours. Um, so Seems I'm curious how they got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's pretty much hitting everything else. Anything, uh, any, any thread maybe left in the game that you want to talk about? We're pretty much close. To just about everything that I think I wanted to cover oh, in the overall game. The one of the main things. The room of requirement. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I knew I was missing something. The room of requirement, of course, something given to you kind of midway part through the game. Yeah. Uh, and you straight up can have a zoo in this fucking yep. place. You just have a zoo and you get to take care of animals. It's actually very fun. Uh how yep. crazy did you get with your room of requirement? Were you like we're decorating everything? Were you I putting up didn't do painting? I didn't do much with it. I literally did the potion, the plant place. I put a table and a chair somewhere and then like I I changed the ambiance of it, but I didn't go in and start changing stuff around because I was like I I'm not here not to thing. design a room. I'm not here to design design the room. I'm here to go explore, you yeah, know, yeah, the wizard. It's, it's not your thing. I'm not shocked by that. You're not yeah. you're not a big designer in these th when they were given these types of situations. I went pretty pretty ham wild, not crazy, it didn't take everything down and do everything like uh, meticulously, I just um changed how the walls. I made the walls look exactly how I wanted to. I made the ceiling exactly how I wanted yeah. to. Uh, the 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 main room that you get, I made a giant um uh, herbology side, and then a game room side behind me, and then I had like a potions uh side in the main room, 
Yeah. Uh, so I went pretty ham wild with it. It was very fun to like kind of like make this room your own, especially when you had the four given styles: scientific, gothic, eccentric, and a her herbit a herbology. Um, mm-hmm. That was that was all very cool. I I um loved the. Uh, uh, it seemed kind of unnecessary, but the upgrading was like kind of fun because it gave you a reason to grow things and like make stuff. I like to make mm-hmm. the potions because after a while, I noticed the potions were kind of broken. Because uh, yeah, no, I, the, I didn't. I didn't use them until like towards the end of the game. I didn't because I, I never bought any of the upgrades for the tables. Yeah, I bought all the upgrades for the table because like I had so much money. I was like, what do I yeah. spend this on? But um, after a while, I was like why don't I start using potions and and you can just down every potion you want. So like I would down mm-hmm. like the Eridus, the Thunder Brew and then the Maxima and you're like, br- like crazy broken strong. Like you, you're able to yeah. like one hit everybody. You're doing these crazy magic spells. So um, the last half, uh, last like third of the game was like, I could have killed it with my eyes closed because I had a Vada Kedabra. I had Crucio. I had like my combos down and I was crafting potions out of my ass. Of, yeah. of how easy you think um i got very uh had a lot of fun um getting the animals too like capturing yes. the animals they pretty much put pokemon in the middle of this game randomly like just out of nowhere there's literally shinies did you see this alex Mm-mm. yeah so the shinies so there's literally um like rare versions of the animals so like every every version of the animal has like a special color so like the Thestral is like, uh, I think the Thestral is white or green or something like that. Interesting. Um, and that's like the shiny version. So they got a yeah, little the, deep. They got pretty deep. With it. And yeah, you the, can, like, the read craziest them. thing I have was the Phoenix that you get through the story. Yes. And uh, I have a Hippogriff ca- uh, baby. Uh, yes, I, 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 cause I, I, yeah, because I, yeah, because I nursed one or I, bur- I birthed one. Yeah, bred one. You don't want to say bred, bred one, whatever. I don't know weird. how to, I don't know. It's, it's pretty <laughs> weird that they randomly were like, oh, you can breed them. I'm like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, I did that um, so I can get more of the materials. But yeah, yeah. Rumor crime was great. I, I liked it quite a bit. Um, I don't have too much else to add, though, because like you know, at the end of the day, it was just a room that you went, went to. Yeah, uh, I, I feel bad. To it, though. I feel bad for Deke. He was uh, chilling. He didn't have to do anything. Well, I'm saying like his backstory, like he and like his master oh, before him. Yeah, and then uh, um, you go and find his friend. Yeah, and his friend is dead from the spiders. Yeah, that yeah. hurt a little bit. And the friend was like, he was like being punished to stay there. So like he stayed there and was yep. like, "This is what I deserve." I was like, "Jesus Christ!" Yep. I and always thought the- house elves were like sad, and like that was like the saddest. Yeah, he got killed, and he's like, "Man." And then he accidentally, or was it? Did he blames himself for his master dying because he was trying to. He's trying to save the phoenix, and he put that. Pu- yeah, that pushed him off the cliff. But yeah, he, he fell off. The yeah, master. something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I faintly remember that, and I was like, I, I was like, eh, it's, you're. I literally, my character was like, he sounded like a dick. And I was like, I didn't, yeah, sounds yeah. like he was a dick. Fuck that guy. And he was like, well, he was still my master, so like, so yeah. I had to take care of him. And I was like, sure, I guess, but I'll give, I'll give you a sock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he doesn't have a master anymore. He's dead. Yeah, that's true. And it's clear that they're like, you don't own him. By the way, they're like, he, you're, he's just your friend. You uh, hear that? They definitely did. <laughs> they definitely didn't want anyone to think that. They were like, no, nah, he's by the way, just your friend. He's you just, just a dude something. that's chilling. He doesn't really do much. Yeah. Pretty sure that's it. Um, we talked about Isidore. We talked about uh, various housing and these things. Um. Uh, let's end with a couple of the things that I wanted to bring up in terms of uh, some of the things I didn't like. So um, it's clear that they wanted at some point to do a kind of Mass Effect esque like friendship thing. I don't know if this mm-hmm. is how they wanted it to end up looking like, but it's what we got. Um, it was fine, but at the end of the day, it was it was strange. I thought this was kind of begging for like. Hey, pick a friend to come and 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 uh, look around with you. Yeah, I'm frankly shocked that didn't happen. Like every time, like maybe like as you're leaving, uh, excuse me, as you're leaving Hogwarts, you can hit a button and maybe have a friend come with you. Like, oh, I want just like a, to yeah, just like a companion. And maybe they talk to you like while you're doing things or yeah, or, yeah, and you just have a companion while you're doing this. I just thought that that seemed like yeah, 
kind of like an obvious thing that maybe could have been. And I'm I mean, like, I get, why they didn't. I get like if you ride your broom, they're not gonna be able to follow you. I get that. Yeah, they get their own broom. They got their own broom. Right? Yeah, like maybe they didn't want to do the animation. I don't know. Or maybe yeah, maybe they couldn't. Again, this is all like could have been said by didn't have enough time or what or mm-hmm. didn't fit what they were doing. I don't know. Just weird that like I mean, there weren't more. I couldn't. I couldn't situations. imagine the difference if a first party like big. T- uh, publisher was just like hey make that game like versus mm. what they did yeah I, i'm ki- yeah i mean there's so many open threads from this game because it it really does seem like they tried to d- i i kin this when i was actually talking on on the regular scheduled show easy achievers every friday um mm-hmm. it's almost like star wars jedi fallen order and what i mean by that is star wars jedi fallen order tried to do a lot good instead of doing a few things great and yeah. I think that's kind of what Hogwarts did. They they tried to do a lot of things very good instead of doing a couple things great. I mean, it really does mm. feel like at times there's like five different games inside of this one. There's yeah. an open world. You have like a semi sim living as a student. Plus, there's these giant combat arenas. Plus, there's like a kind of friendship quest line things going on. Esque Lloyd T. Michigan Mass Effect style. Plus, you're kind of talking with them through dialogue that you choose but really it's like the same dialogue mm-hmm. every time it doesn't Fucking really matter pokemon. what you say this pokemon halfway through the game like, so <laughs> it really is like they really tried to do a lot at once i am yeah. curious and alex this is maybe um what will close the show on uh this this game sold i think 12 million copies in two weeks uh in, that is incredibly strong yeah. insane for a single player game shows no signs of stopping this might be the elden ring of this year and what i mean by that is yeah constantly topping the charts uh and again a single player game doing that is a very big deal alex what do you want to see in a sequel because that because we're getting Mm -hmm. one we already know we're not getting dlc which means and that's what's telling me is first off very strange that we're not getting dlc you'd think you'd want to get some conversion rate 20% 20% maybe buy the DLC. That's still a lot of money. 20% of 12 million. It's a fucking lot of people. So I have a feeling very that they were, they they're going to try to... But, but they're going to probably like, go into the second game. I feel like they're going to try to add multiplayer to the second game. No, God. Don't say that. I do not I think feel that. like... It's either that or the second game is a... Uh, either, not, not, and I don't know. Not a Destiny-like. Oh, stop. Don't... Don't say these don't things, Alex. You're scaring me. As soon as you said Destiny, I wanted to throw up in my mouth. It's look. Is it? I don't know, man. I feel like because they could probably be like, "Oh, people do love the this world." We can probably, I don't know, man. And the marketing standpoint in, in my head would probably be like microtransactions. What? 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 Who makes more microtransactions? I mean, WoW, ESO, like destiny like all those places and they could probably do it i would agree if this didn't sell like 12 million and it's clearly going to sell a lot more i don't think uh yeah. executives walk up to them and try to fuck up what they got going and I guess especially wb where wb is clearly not really hitting with selling like um well that's not true because gotham knights although critically panned sold actually a lot of copies can um, you see a first party studio take over this and be like or, and help them take with it? Over. No. Not no. take over, but like I like or excuse me, well, but like help them. PlayStation actually did help them, I think, a a little bit did with I? Oh my god. Am I misremembering this? I can't I, I think they, they did a little bit of support work on this. Game. Just, yeah. Um I can't I'm trying to I'm trying to think. Um it's like uh, let's see. Uh, I don't think it's it's, it's it's like it's like like let's uh, we'll use PlayStation. Let's use as they use. Uh, it's like PlayStation comes up to them and be like, "Hey, we're gonna give you enough. Uh, we're gonna give you enough money for resources to be, uh, to be able to get resources like what Sony Santa Monica uses, like God of War. Like you know, I want I want this game to be up their level with God of War." No, because um, they have no reason to do that unless PlayStation writes a big check or Xbox or Nintendo. Yeah. It's just not going to happen because that requires so much money. And I don't think they're interested in paying one time to have an exclusive. Yeah. Whereas place, does play, I mean, PlayStation doesn't really need that. Xbox, yeah. I mean, 
by the time a second one comes out, hopefully they don't need an, a fucking exclusive. But it looks like we're not getting another exclusive for Xbox this year at all, other, other than some Bethesda games. So it's pretty. I crazy. told you. I remember. I, I told we said before. I don't. I don't think Phil cares for exclusives. He's, he <laughs> wants. He, he looks like he doesn't care about shit. launching any games either. Um, yeah. Aside from that, um, back to your point, I, I don't think anyone scoops this up because it's it's too late. You can't scoop yeah. something up after it's sold. This is a uh, something I'll bring up. From, this is like a FromSoft situation, right? Yeah. PlayStation so had their better? Uh, PlayStation had their chance with Demon Souls. They could have bought. They yeah. could have. They could have locked that down. They could have locked down Dark Souls, but they didn't because yeah. they didn't. They didn't know. It's too late though. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> um how do you make this better easily um i mean like better, better I, I, I mean i know you can huh better writing the main like i said the main story was a mess yeah um, well so, I, I, my mind's trying to think i was like what do you think will they'll go even further before or would they go closer to well, the this harry is potter a, this is a, this is up to you in, in like how you want to take the question like what do you want to see in a sequel to this game because we're not getting dlc so like do you want like a different time period do you want different do you want quidditch i think that's easy to say i want quidditch that, that's if they can nail a straight up quidditch game inside of hogwarts legacy 2 i think they have a special thing on their hands yeah i i, I if if we can get hmm. i'm wondering i i I'm, i kind of would want them no, I don't know. I was thinking I kind of would want them to go back even further to when this when they when it first was like a, like when they first made it, like the the main four Salazar, Slytherin, you know, Raina, Wavenclaw, like the four. Yeah, the I kind of would like. Yeah, the founders. I kind of want them to do that. I would like a USA school game. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, a West, a I, honest, one. I honestly think it would it will just be Hogwarts Legacy two, and it will just be, um, like a new Hogwarts game. Mm. But it would be cool to go to Mecca. Uh, uh, what is it, Massa? Mac, Mac, Musa? I think it's Musa Mo- or whatever. Oh, it's about the um, the the, the, the one in the US. Schools. Yeah, yeah. I'd love I'd love to go there. Um, fuck, I'd love to go to the African school. Uh, that place looks fucking cool too. I don't think any of that's gonna happen. We're it's gonna be called Hogwarts Legacy you know bullshit something so i just yeah. was curious what you, if there was a specific thing i would love to see just better pacing better writing really tighten it i actually think the map might be a little too big let's like let's like tuck in a little bit we don't have to have like uh a giant map for giant map state we don't need to have all of these collectibles i think they can actually make a better game by doing 20 percent less work um so if they really kind of focus their efforts in making in improving what they have versus trying to do like a quality or, or a quantity versus quality argument, I, I would much prefer them literally do 20 percent less work with adding like all these collectibles and making the map like like this bitch bigger and all these things. I would much prefer a slightly smaller map, everything meticulously detailed, uh, well-crafted collectibles, not just 90 of the same Merlin trials because they get boring after fucking 10 of them. Um, mm-hmm. And keep with that special magic with Hogwarts. Keep up with that special music cues. I mean, they nailed it with the music, Alex. Oh, yeah, That's music, something yeah. we didn't even touch on. The music is beautiful. When you get on that broom, yeah. I mean, it really does feel like you're you're in a magical Harry Potter game. Yeah. Um, by the way, though, North America Wizarding School is called Il- Ilver I- Ilvermorny School, which has a wizardry. Okay. It's it's located on Mount Greylock in Massachusetts. Yeah, it's cool, Massachusetts. Yeah, it's the highest peak of on Mount Greylock. Dope. Yeah. Uh, when, oh, cool. Any final notes on a sequel? It seems like you're kind of like, and eh, you know, whatever no, you guys I, think is yeah, right. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I mean, if they honestly, if they give me the same thing, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> it's uh, like, I, I did it. enjoy this. I if they it. give me the, the same thing with a new or hopefully a better story. Yes. Uh, Just something a little bit more, you know, it's a little bit more uh, thick put together. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and give a little me, more. Give, for the give, story me, give me fucking like, Quidditch. All right. Yeah. Oh, just give God. us Quidditch. What, what are you guys doing? Okay, let's get some right. Quidditch in there. I'm sure you have a prototype already in there. You just probably couldn't get it ready in time and you had to mm-hmm. ditch it. Start start working on that. 
I enjoy first off congrats enjoy your bonuses this game sold a lot of money that means everyone mm-hmm. made a lot of money enjoy some vacation all right get back into the second game you know what they're gonna do they're gonna do a side game that's just quidditch like how mario did with the with the with the soccer games and some other plays like or, or witcher did with gwent they're gonna make a game that's just quidditch you could you say that semi jokingly? I would not be shocked. Oh if no, they I'm try. being serious. Like oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah. I'm be being for real. Like I, I can see Rocket that happening. League. I don't. I wouldn't yeah. be shocked if they try like a Rocket League scenario where like grab five. I don't. How many people are in, in Quidditch? Is it five? It's five v five, right? I'm pretty sure. Because there's two, there's two like bludgers or like whackering people. There's one Quidditch. seeker, one keep. No, this is there six. How many seeker, players? Seven. Keeper. It is seven. It's yeah, seven. each Quidditch team has seven. Yeah, Wait, it's uh, it's beaters, keeper, chasers, keeper. keepers, and a seeker. There are typically they, there are there are fourteen players on the field at a time. Seven for each team. Three chasers, two beaters, one keeper, one seeker. One seeker. Okay. Yeah. 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 The yeah seeker so, is the one that goes for the snitch. Yep. So, yeah. I mean, that's that screams like, hey, make me a co-op multiplayer rock like i could see it right now i'm over here fucking trying to grab the snitch (laughs) and like they're making a mini game you're like and i'm over thing i'm over here beating people with my fucking trying to me (laughs) (laughs) oh my god yeah i can definitely see that i don't want that just put it in the next game but yeah we shall see alex we're Hmm. wrapping up this spoiler cast again thank you for for joining me on this Uh, it's always nice to have you back what are some lasting threads from this as we close out the show, anything you want to say about the game, the development team? I mean, really anything. I I mean, good job for them. And this was a, a f- really fun game. It's I mean, it's already contender for game of the year. It's uh, it's so much fun. I, I honestly want to keep playing like it's one of those games like I be, I put 30 hours into it. But like, I don't know if I'm done with it. I, I think it's one of those games where I'm going to just turn it on. Do a couple side missions and then back out. Like I think it's one of those like like your destiny. Like you know you play some destiny, you back out, play some destiny, back out. I think I, I'm gonna do that with this game. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you. I actually want to congratulate the development team, Avalanche Softworks, of course. Um, I want I want everyone to really think about this. I'm gonna read what they made from. I'll read you everything they made this century, and then okay. I want you to realize what we just played together. Right, yeah. starting in 2000. Rampage Through Time, Regrets in Paris, the movie, Prince of Persia, Arabian Nights. In 2002, they released NCAA College Football 2K3 uh, and Rugrats Royal Ransom. 2003, Tack and the Power of Juju. 2004, yeah. Tack 2, The Staff of Dreams. 2005, Tack, The Great Juju Challenge, Dragon Ball Z Sagas. That was a terrible game. Um, Chicken yeah, Little. I didn't mind it. Dragon Ball Z Sagas, I fucking hated that game. 2006, <laughs> 25 to Life, Chicken Little, Ace in Action. 2007, Meet the Robinsons. 2007, uh, again, um, Hannah Montana, Spotlight World Tour. 2008, Bolt. Mm-hmm. 2010, Toy Story 3. 2011, Cars 2. 2013, Disney Infinity. 2014, Disney Infinity 2.0. 2015, Disney Infinity 3.0. 2017, Cars 3, Driven to Win. And then 2023, Hogwarts Legacy. That team who made all that I mean, let's be frank, trash. <laughs> like, like half of that is licensed. We all know the quality of licensed games. They took those five, Disney six Infin- years of a break to, to make something great. Disney Infinity, I cannot speak to the quality of the game. It looked fucking terrible. It looked like an excuse for kids to buy toys, to like play mm-hmm. with toys and also play with games. I don't know how good the game was. It was closed down because it like didn't make enough money, but Disney was like, very greedy. If I yeah, I mean, it was then, it was so. like uh, it was like Lego Dimensions. It was like the toy. Uh, yeah, yeah, toys. Know, toys. You uh, yeah. get on the garbage and it goes in the game. Yeah. I, I the only thing I remember is everyone tried to sell them to me at GameStop. That's all I remember, and we never took mm-hmm. it. Literally from the time I started and the time I left, we never took. We stopped taking them, and I still got them throughout like the entire career. There, it was fucking terrible. But yeah. I really want to cement that for everybody. Like, really think about that. Like the people who made Disney Infinity made this game. I know some people like are impressed. I don't know why some people are like impressed with Disney Infinity. I'm not saying it was a terrible game, but like to make that and then make this is like not a compare. Like that is not a jump that just happens. It is very impressive. And I do want to give the kudos to to Avalanche. They really did something here. And and a credit to their team. Enjoy your cash. You definitely made a lot of money. Yep. 
All right, that is your spoiler cast for Hogwarts Legacy. Thank you all so much for joining us. This was a great time. I actually uh, liked, we did get very deep into the game. That's almost a two hour conversation on the story of this game. Very happy we were able to sit down with this. Thank you for joining me, Alex. Yep. I'm glad to be hey. here. I, I like spoiler casts. Yes. We'll see you again, of course, sometime when yep. when the moon, when when the moon uh, uh, kisses the sky is when you yep. whenever this kid stays more asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, so that's why I, sometimes I'm like doing this. I'm like, don't wake up because he's <laughs> just starting to sleep on his he's, stomach. Um, yeah. Yeah. So he's getting more comfortable. I'm like, all right, I'm getting to that point where he's more long sleeping longer, longer. Thank God. Ooh, <laughs> that's going to be nice when you can actually sleep again. Oh, I'm like on four or five hours of sleep every night now. <laughs> That's my norm. If I get more, I've noticed I got like seven the other day, dead ass exhausted. <laughs> I did four I did four hours. I woke up from him feeding and I'm like, it's like five AM. I'm like, I could stay up. I'll be all right. Your body's probably not used to it anymore. I remember um it was actually yeah. very popular before the Oh my god, was it the invention of electricity or something? I think people used to sleep like uh, in like batches of like a couple hours or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so like we're not too far away from like I think they would sleep when the sun goes down for like five hours, wake up, do stuff, and then like go back to sleep for like three hours or something like that. I don't know, but don't know. That, we're not too far away from that. So maybe that's what your body got used to. It's like waking up constantly and going back to sleep. So like when you when that's you the had paternal full, instinct, yeah, when you had your full seven hours, your body was like, "What are we doing?" Like right now, like I'm yawning. But I'm like, I feel like I, I can I feel the tiredness, but I can go for another four hours, probably do you something. Well, go do those things. Thank you again for joining right. us. Thank you for listening. Remember, regular scheduled podcast every single Friday. We come to you. Um, it, it fluctuates between it's usually 11 a.m. Actually, uh, Eastern time is when it goes live. Talk about the gaming news you need to know today our or this week, our special guest penultimate conquest. I was actually on there podcast for the last of us part uh well actually last of us part one season one episode three of their podcast and i invited the host to this so he'll be joining me and you'll see that friday we get excited but until then i love you remember like comment subscribe and go achieve go achieve